Hey y'all, how you perking? I hope you're perking good. So, October 2020. All right, can't believe we've made it to October 2020 almost. Uh, I am filming this one week early, so in exactly one week it will be October 2020. And a lot of you have really enjoyed the 2020 for September predictions video that I did. A lot coming true in that, and a lot coming true in some of the other videos. So. Um, we have predicted, unfortunately, uh, the death of a very prominent political figure, which turned out to be RBG, so rest in peace. Um, we also have predicted the tensions rising for protests and potential riots and things of that nature um, because of the murder of Breonna Ta uh, Taylor. Um, so also uh, lots of touchy stuff going on here, but y'all really enjoyed that video and asked me to do a predictions video for all the months um and so here we are for october's video already getting into it um so i am a licensed mental health clinician as well as a spiritual intuitive and in these r videos we do take a look at the tea with the tarot and these videos are always meant to be helpful never hateful so if you're down with that please join the family here we'd love to have you subscribe you see that subscribe button right there and please make sure you're still subscribed uh people tend to get unsubscribed a lot that notification bell click it make it look like that has to have the lines on it like that and then yeah please join the channel too consider that um there's a lot of exclusive content five uh perks of the perk squad so if you are down for that all of those links are in the description box below um as well as right down there You'll see subscribe. You'll see join. You'll see notification bell. Woo! All right, y'all. Let's get up in here and move this microphone. This microphone. This microphone. Right chair. Right chair. Yes. All right. So, let's see what all we have going on for October. This might be a bit of a quick read because I have been in a very intensive training the last couple of days for work. Um, in fact, the first two days of the training were 14-hour days. Um, so now I have a little bit of a lunch break here that ends in about 20 minutes. So for once, all of y'all that want me to do a quick reading, you're going to get a quick one today. For once, you're going to get a quick one. So here we go. October 2020. What can we expect? What can we expect? All right, guides. Woo! And as always, this is all alleged. All alleged. So here we go. Taking a look at these cards right here. Um, first and foremost, before I even throw a little context on this, uh, we're looking at there being a decision that needs to be made. And this is a decision that needs to be made that's going to be causing a whole lot of controversy. A lot of controversy as it relates to a very powerful female figure. A female figure that people think of as having planted a lot of the seeds that have grown. Um, so this is really giving me kind of some RBG vibes, yeah? That there's a decision to be made about um, the the justice and, and when to um, when to fill the empty seat and all of that kind of stuff. And y'all, I am not a political person. I don't know all the the polished terms and things from that. So forgive me with that. I'm just reading what the cards say as a political amateur. But what I am seeing here with that situation. Um, it's going to be a really contentious deal. I'm not even going to look at this bottom stuff. I'm just going to get more context stuff on here. It's a really, really contentious issue. So what I am seeing on that. Hmm. Uh, it looks like there is in some way, some 
kind of feeling of wanting to move forward with that on one hand and then here on the other hand you get no do not move forward don't go anywhere so there's just kind of this stuckness of arguing between the two different things here we go <laughs> we literally have the justice card as in like literally we have a Supreme Court member here. This is a justice card and it's in the upright position. Now, given that it's in the upright position, this to me makes it look like the pressure is going to be on to really put somebody in, um, in her place. And now I have heard people say, you know, no, don't do it, uh, in an election year or don't do it until after the election. I have heard people say that. And I have heard people mention that there's some hypocrisy um, I've heard between uh, people in the past with Obama um, having a say over it and then now they feel a different way over it this time like some sort of a flip-flopping or or a double standard or something like that I am not entirely sure again I don't get into the political stuff too much I'm just reading the cards um, allegedly but to me it looks like they're really wanting to stick somebody in there Okay, because I see the justice card upright. To me, this looks like it's a business type of transaction. And I know that, that the government and stuff with this is not necessarily a business type of transaction. But here it looks like a partnership between two people that would be considered colleagues that are um, kind of mapping this out and uh, trying to make this a reality here. So that is something that I see. I see a strong woman over here, though. Um, on the other hand, I don't know if this would be considered someone that they would be thinking about as a justice or if this is a woman that might be opposed to this situation. Let me get a little bit more feedback here about this. Okay. Yeah, what I'm getting here is that this is gonna, this is going to um, end up being a situation where people feel like they are emotionally let down, like there's literally nothing to celebrate about, decisions were made, they didn't get their input in the way that they wanted to get their input, and people were able to kind of get away with things that they didn't want them to get away with. So I don't know what necessarily is going to happen with that. What I am saying is that the outcome is going to make a lot of people upset. A lot of people upset about feeling like somebody was able to get their way um, and feeling like this is not something to celebrate over. So I am seeing that in the month of October, something weird going on around that situation. So more to develop on that hear what I'm getting and I do want to reiterate for these videos these videos can be things happening locally nationally internationally even within yourself um, so there's a whole lot of different levels that these readings can be uh, picking up whenever I do just a general reading for a month um, so what I'm seeing here four of swords let me look on this Okay, so this is more on a personal level. Um, this will be a month to feel like you really get to kind of, not that you get to rest, but that you need to force yourself to build in time for rest because it looks like things are going to be coming up that we're going to really need to start drawing our full attention to and you, you're going to need that rest and relaxation first. So Please give yourself that if you haven't already. And then we get the Knight of Pentacles here and the Page of Pentacles both upright. So it's saying that we're going to be kind of called to step up and play a role in some big things that are going to be coming down the pipeline starting next month. And for us to really be able to step up and play that role, we have had we will have to have had the rest and recuperation that we need for that us to really be able to pull that off. So, you know, I'm seeing that as as a word of warning like go ahead and take some time for rest if you're not the type that usually does figure it out <laughs> figure it out and do it make some time okay you gotta you gotta okay let's see what these two are saying okay 
Hmm. So here it's saying in the month of October, it looks like there, as it relates to a situation about children or families, there is going to be an interesting dynamic that goes on um, where at least two women are involved in this, whether they're involved in making decisions about children and family or whether they're involved um, about somehow impacting children and family. Um, and I... I don't know y'all there's it looks like one of these uh women is thinking about things in a good solid positive way the way that we need and another woman here is got some fuzzy brain about it um wanting some things that don't make sense want wanting some things to happen that shouldn't that shouldn't be right uh so there's some element of that going on in october and again that could be a lot of different things watch me here put my eyeball trigger warning for anybody that doesn't like people putting fingers in their eyes and no we're not to not supposed to because of COVID. but uh contact wearers anybody else sit there and just bleh, 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 and just drag all around your eyeballs at any given time because yeah same 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 okay so uh yeah this is this is a weird uh family issue coming up Hmm. Yeah, so let me pull these up. So we got the card here with the Knight of Wands in reverse, and then we're seeing these cards here on top of it. And so what this is looking like is in some way, it's like families would be affected in a way that would make them... Um, something about the family unit make them feel like they're not going to be able to get what they need or work for what they need there's some sort of um weird uh control issue or greed going on at a bigger level that trickles down and affects either children's or children or families or things of that nature um and i'll be interested in seeing who those two women are as that goes to play out in october so um I wonder if they'll show themselves. Sometimes these figures play their role behind the scenes and we never get privy to it. So I wonder how that's going to go. Ooh, temperance card starting out right there. What's that about? E. Okay. So here I get that death card again. Now, when I got the death card three times in a row in the reading about the period of time around the election, I was like, okay someone important politically is going to pass and then they did and now we're getting something else coming up about the death card i don't know if this is referring to somebody who is going to pass or somebody who has already recently passed such as rbg or brianna taylor um because i know that's come up as well it's a really difficult thing going on right now um but this temperance card talking about timing uh some the timing about things coming out surrounding um, somebody's death. Interesting that that would be something that comes up. And I only have a few more minutes to kind of look into this. Um, so if we end up needing to to pull up a separate video at some point in time, we could do that on these things. But I just wanted to give a general reading for October. A general overall. Woo! Overall. So I know it seems like I'm a little bit... All over the place. Of course I am. Okay, yeah. Oof. Ooh. Yeah, so what I'm seeing here, something about the purpose around somebody's death that people are really going to be working on something about that. Like, I like taking an active role as it relates to somebody who has already died or somebody who is going to die and people are going to be taking an active role around this um this is also with the judgment card this means that there's going to be people who are heavily judged over how some of these things um are happening so we're gonna see you know i, I hate to say it because i know a lot of times we have a really polarized energy and we want people to come together it seems like there's gonna be some more polarization some more you know us versus them type talk here about these things but this movement and i want to call it a movement 
is going to be moving forward. People are going to be finding some silver linings. People are going to be moving forward in a very passionate way. And if that means uh, destroying some relationships or burning some bridges, so to speak, and or things of that nature, then then they will do it. It's like a means to an end at this point. Yeah, people are feeling like I'm tired of being victimized. This is a means to an end. You know, I, I've got to stand up. So October could be kind of tumultuous in that way, in that respect. Um, I just, I see how, how we labeled September's predictions reading as tensions rising. I just see the tensions continuing to rise right now. Okay. So it seems like the tensions rising isn't really going to be something that would be going away just yet. Um, okay. So the good news here, let's end on some good news, right? Let's end on some good news. There are some opportunities in October should all of us um, agree to take it, okay? Opportunities should we agree to take it. There are opportunities for us in our home and family units to get stronger home and family units. And that doesn't have to mean home and family in the literal terms. If your family are friends, if your family are coworkers, if you have a, a, a non-conventional, atypical type of family, of what family means to you, fine, beautiful. That's good. There's going to be a strengthening of that or an opportunity for us to strengthen that, put strength in connections, strength in some form of healing and some form of collaboration so that we can be stronger together. So as we start noticing that polarizing energy of us versus them and tensions rising and all of that, we can use October to really try to kind of get in there and figure out where are our pockets of family, of solidarity, of really getting back together in that kind of a way? That's what we're wanting to look towards. We're needing to be strong. The strength card is alluding to things coming up later. So I'm assuming in the month of November that we're going to need our strength for. So it's like, please do not waste the opportunity to have that connection building and that reprieve from all the crazy times do not overlook that or let it get out from under you and get away from you because we're going to need that for November okay we're going to need that for November so it looks like in this month we're still seeing a lot of of mess coming up and and in a lot of different ways still a very big and impactful month coming up um what are your thoughts about what some of these things or the things that we've already talked about could mean or could allude to? Um, we'll check into those a little bit later. Um, and then, yeah, for everybody who would like a private reading with me, um, to book a private reading just in the description box below, uh, you can check out my calendar link. You can schedule it yourself right here, right now. Don't even have to wait around for me or anything like that. Um, and also, again, uh, for anybody that wants any uh, extra content, anything like that uh, that's exclusive to the perk squad then you can join the perk squad using the join button or the link in the description box below um so let's do let's fit in a little shout out i know we gotta go but let's fit in a little shout out for a perk squad member because that's one of the perks to the perk squad is getting a little shout out so shout out to jamie g shout out to you shout out to you um yeah, Jamie called me out for not vacuuming under my uh, desk that's back there, right here. You see that um, white desk back there? For not vacuuming under that because I found my laptop under there after forever not knowing where my laptop was. And Jamie said, hey, if you had vacuumed under there, you'd know where your laptop is. <laughs> so shout out to you, Jamie, for putting me on blast about my vacuum skills or lack thereof. <laughs> uh, alrighty, y'all. So we got a general reading about October real fast. Seeing how October is going to go, expect that energy to build up a little bit more. Expect there to be some more of that. Um, but also please use the opportunities that we have in October to prepare ourselves and give ourselves the reprieve that we need because it looks like we're really going to need it in November. So we're going to be gearing up 
towards November. Um, let me just pull randomly one extra card. What do we need to know? Boom. Ah, the card I pulled up. Seven of Cups in reverse. Things are not always what they seem. Seem things are not always what they seem. So that will be a <laughs> that'll be something to take in mind in October. Think of how that theme will play out on a big scale in October. Things are not always what they seem. Alrighty, y'all. Don't be a stranger. I will talk at you later. And come back and see me. Bye. Love you, mean it. Love you, mean it. Hugs. Love you, mean it. Bye, y'all.